Hey, what's up everyone? It's Simon Chan. I'm here to fire you up and get you going because we all know we need some motivation like the way we need oxygen. Today, I want to share with you two things you have to do that help you stay consistent and also be happier and more successful. Hey, to, uh, before we start off today, we're going to talk about uh, a goodie drop. Tomorrow is coming. Tomorrow, the next freebie from the Insider Book Club from the Consistency Pill. Hey, by the way, the book is coming out, launching in 57 days from now. But tomorrow, I'm going to share a little bit of excerpt. So, something behind the scenes of writing the book. You don't want to miss it. It's free for everyone. Just drop in book in the comments. Uh, and I'll send it out to you. Hey, Luther, good morning. Good to see you here. So anyway, let's do a check. Today is Tuesday. Um, Belly, good to see you. How has your week been? How did you yesterday go? Productivity. How many, uh, how much, how much did you get done in your business? Uh, how productive you were? I think I'm going to scale one to 10 for me. It was a seven and a half. Got a lot of good, important things done. Today it is, uh, same thing. Again, talk about the routine. You want to plan out your weeks on the weekends. Plan and then every day before you go to bed, plan out your day as well, right? How do you plan your day? Look at what did you plan on the weekend, okay? What did you have planned on the weekend? Strategically plan that out and then uh, you take action on it. Once you wake up, you go, 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 right? That's one of the keys to productivity, time management. Sometimes you are, um, if you don't have enough, uh, if you don't have enough time, it's not about not having enough time, it's more about your time management needs to be better. Mary Kay, congrats again on your new customer. Nelly, your day was a seven. That's awesome. Bob, a seven. Jasmine, seven. Hey, a lot of sevens here today. That's good. That means it's a little bit above average. Not great, but let's make it. Hey, we got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Four more days. Some of you are out in uh, Asia. You end, end the one last day, but I'll give you some grief. I'll give you some grace. You can end your day on the Saturday. All right, but hey, four more days to hit our goals, and we got big, big goals, right? I know you have big goals. That's why you're still watching this. All right, I'm going to talk about something. Uh, Rebecca, good morning. Is two things you got to do, okay? And you want to be a leader. There's two things a leader has to do. Is number one, you got to stay confident. Confidence to keep trying. Even when things are tough, keep... And I was just sharing with my son this. I uh, had a baseball tournament, struggling a little bit and hitting. First time he's in his life, he struggled, right? Um, it's always things been so easy. First time he's actually hit some challenges as the competition gets better and better. So I told you, the only thing you have going when you're tr struggling is just visualize yourself, your positivity, right? Your confidence. And where do you get that confidence from? You get that, you get that confidence by going back and replaying the highlights, the good stuff in your life, right? Things have gone well. What one of some things like, so Mary Kay, if give you an example, you share you got a customer, you've had a tough, tough, challenging times this coming week. Hey, you got a customer. You've had customers before, right? You've had team members before. Go replay your past successes. So number one, you gotta stay confident despite of no matter what happens, right? You get that confidence from your past. Uh, and it doesn't necessarily even need to be related to uh, what you're doing. So when I first started, one of the things that helped me start to get going was I say, hey, I was a good, pretty good ball player. If I practiced hard, it became a good ball, ball player. I'm an entrepreneur. I worked hard. I can do this as well, right? I did pretty well on my job. If I worked hard, I worked hard on my job, uh, and I liked my job at that when I started. If I worked hard on my job, I did well. If I worked hard on this, I can learn how to sell as well, right? You borrow that confidence. Number two is you know you have to keep being humble. You got to have confidence, but you got to be humble, right? Hungry but humble. Hum humble makes you realize that hey, I still have much to learn. I got to keep learning. And like if things don't go well, I didn't. It's not because it didn't work. I need to learn, right? Either winning or learning. So those are the two things. Ruby, how are you doing? Share this with your teams. Every leader has got to do two things. You got to stay confident to keep going, right? Learning to get that borrow that confidence from yourself by replaying your past successes, replaying. And the second thing is to be humble to keep learning. So when things don't go well, it's not anyone's fault. It is your fault. Right, um, Mary Kay, I know I saw your roller, roller skating, number one. Hey, if you worked hard and did that, you can do this, right? Replay that. So those are two things I want you to do today. And uh, hey, last thing before I go, stay focused. The book club, the goodie drop is coming tomorrow. You don't want to miss it, okay? It's free for everyone's part of the book club in celebration of the launch of the book. Every week I'm sharing tips and nuggets and little stuff that I'm not giving anyone else inside the club. It is free for everyone. Drop in club in the comments and I'll send you that link where you can register and tag someone in this video too that so you can hey, share the good stuff.
Be, hey, sharing is caring. Hey, everyone, that's my message for you. Let's rock it. Go work on those two things. Stay confident, be humble, and go out there. Have a positive impact in someone's life. God bless, and see you back tomorrow.